That's why I don't be going to the puffy parties. Uh -uh. Hello again and welcome back to another one and today we have a couple of topics to cover one from J. Cole's collaboration with Drake on first person shooter and J. Cole addressed the ongoing quote beef with NBA Youngboy and we'll get to this in a moment. Today we also have one that sparked heated debates when LA rapper Glasses Malone got called out by Charlemagne for his comments about how Snoop Dogg was bigger than Tupac in the early 90s and in turn the internet has called out Charlemagne for being consistent at dropping bad hip hop takes. Today we also have more when it comes to hip hop music in 2023 so far in the United Kingdom and Eminem and 50 Cent have held it down in what's been a disastrous year for hip hop music in the country and at the latter part of the video we'll be exploring 50 Cent's take on why he doesn't attend Diddy's parties anymore that's got the internet in tears right now. So starting with NBA Youngboy vs J. Cole, it goes back to May when NBA Youngboy dissed Drake, J. Cole and Lil Yachty on the song F The Industry Part 2 and aimed at J. Cole, he rapped J. L. Garden too. That dude played it cold like he was gonna do a feature, so I texted his line of muscle sign, I swear it's gonna be nice to meet you. So of course when Cole's verse on the secret recipe dropped a few days ago, it sparked speculations that Cole dissed NBA Youngboy when he rapped. Dude's making threats and I laugh, that's cause you ain't a threat, don't ask how I feel about no rappers, ish, they okay, I guess, incoming call, press the button, the one that say accept, he facetimed me to ask for a feature, and saw the face of death, I'm on your song, your stream's going up, not quite the Drake effect, but don't complain, B, take what you get and cut the label, check. It is not hard to see why people connected this back to YB's diss and while J. Cole's manager already shot this down, I'm pretty sure this is Cap. Not sure how y'all heard that Cole verse and put that together. Impressive. Laughing emoji. And J. Cole addressed this on first person shooter. He rapped. I still want to get me a song with YB, can't trust everything that you saw on IG. Just know that if I diss you, I'll make sure you know that I hit you like I'm on your caller ID. And some have used this to deduce the time when J. Cole recorded his verse for Drake's new album since the speculations that he dissed NBA Youngboy started just last week, hence takes like this Cole verse had to be recorded in the last week cause the YB line was a reaction from the song that came out last week with Yachty. In fact, some believe, nah, that was definitely recorded 7 hours ago, laughing my freaking bum off, glad it made the album though. Although some YB fans have taken J. Cole's lyrics to mean he's afraid of YB. Told y'all J. Cole was scared, laughing emojis. Thoughts? Moving on to the next point, Charlemagne called out Glasses Malone for his take that Snoop Dogg was bigger than Tupac on The Breakfast Club, and this was how it went. And you said Snoop Dogg is responsible for the way the public views Tupac, and Tupac wasn't ever close to Snoop's status. Why would you say such a lie like that, G? Huh. G. Is... Okay, so we gonna lie. Talk Big about it. So we gonna lie in this room. No, no, we ain't gonna lie. Let's have a discussion. So let's be honest. Okay. Who was the in the rap game? Let's not. Let's not ever do. Let's let's stop. Let's when just stop though? bullshit. Period. All the way from 1993 when I came out to 1995. No. It was no bigger rapper than Snoop Dogg. It was Pop. It was Snoop. No, no. Snoop came out first. Hold up. No, no. Snoop didn't come out. Pop came out first. Well, yeah, but that. But no, 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 don't try to. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. It was a different type of rapper. now and all that, but he he didn't blow blow. But then Snoop came out. He Superstar. No, no. Snoop was rap. Big came out trying to sell records like Snoop. And G Malone doubled down on Twitter with, and yes, Snoop was clearly bigger than Park from 92 to 95. I stand on that. And when you take a look at the data between 92 to 95, here's how it goes. Topocalypse Now debuted outside the top 50 on Billboard, strictly for my dudes. <coughs> debuted with first week sales of 38,000 and Me Against the World debuted with 240,000 first week. Snoop on the other hand had an explosive start with his debut Doggy Style that opened with sales of 806,000 sold first week so the data supports G Malone's claims and it's basically charred remains for Charlemagne on Twitter right now. Charlemagne embarrasses himself every time he talks about hip hop. I'm also shocked at how little DJ Envy seems to know being as engulfed into the culture as he was. And on this note, another user added, I mean anyone who was actually there knows this, but these guys obviously don't. 
Tupac was the biggest in the game in 96, but he was not bigger than Snoop when Doggy Style and Murder Was The Case dropped. It is not even really debatable, to be honest. Charlemagne thought he was about to cook, only to end up getting cooked. And when it comes to biggest debut albums in hip-hop, Doggy Style was the fastest selling until 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying, and I'll be looking forward to your thoughts. Moving on, Eminem continues to have the hip-hop market in the United Kingdom in a chokehold, as when it comes to the biggest hip-hop albums in the country in 2023, the top 5 goes Curtain Call, Curtain Call 2, Heroes and Villains, The Best of 50 Cent, and Utopia that's kicked out her loss from the top 5. And this sparked reactions like Eminem's 2005 album Curtain Call is the only hip-hop album in top 25 is crazy in 2023. Things have been rough for the genre this year, especially outside the United States and a user added, but you know his music hasn't aged well, laughing emoji. And mind you, at the rate it is selling, Curtain Call 2 would go platinum in the United Kingdom next year. We've heard it all at this point, his old hits did not age well, he gets carried by his old hits. He hasn't had a hit since 2002, a soup of contradictions, as here we see both Curtain Call albums holding it down for the hip-hop genre in the United Kingdom, else no hip-hop albums would have made the top 30. But expect the goalposts to get moved again when his critics catch on to these factual reports. And perhaps it is time, as when Eminem broke the 36-year-old chart record in the United Kingdom with Kamikaze, he asked, Does this mean I get to call myself Sir Eminem? Moving on to the next point, 50 Cent just can't help himself when it comes to trolling, and this time Diddy was the target during the final lap tour. Check it out. That's why I'll be going to the puppy parties. Uh-uh. They can hug you from the front and the back at the same time. What you talking about? Uh, I mean, look, if you're into that, you're into that, I'm fine with it. To each his own. I'm just saying this ain't my motherfucking kind of party. I like it. It's uncomfortable. I think I belong in the girls' bathroom. When shit like that is going on. Oh, <laughs> 